Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and as you can see, it's another late night. Well, I wanted to get in one last quick video before I headed to the Hear the Watchman conference tomorrow where I'm hoping to grab some amazing interviews that I'll be uploading here on my channel within the next couple of days. But with that, I wanted to kind of scour the internet and get the latest on the news so I could get it to you. And while I was searching through, I couldn't help but you know think, Oh my goodness, you know, has America gone bonkers? <laughs> And, and you know, with some of the things that I was reading, I was just in shock. Uh, and, and I think at times, I mean, not only America, this is this is the global thing, but with all the political correctness crap, the violence, the, the you know, graphic junk on TV, the immoralization, the violence everywhere, uh, it, it's just really exponentially blown up uh, over the past, you know, 70, 80 some odd years, maybe even before then. But it's like people have just gone off. I mean, not all of us. Thankfully, you guys have your heads on your shoulders, but there's a part of America who is just really brainwashed and doing some of the most craziest things. So I thought you guys have to see some of these news stories that I was finding on the internet because it's not just that we're bonkers. We're also, I think, charted in a lot of unknown territory. There's We're not all bonkers here in America or worldwide, but uh, just some things that are happening, I guess, are bonkers. So let me just clarify. But check out some of these reports here. Uh, the first one is from WND.com and it's headlined, Air Force Punishes Christian Even Though a Probe Cleared Him. Commander issued damaging report based on his own opinions. Now what that report details is basically a U.S. Air Force official at a joint base in San Antonio, Texas, was warned by, was warned by a law firm that they needed to withdraw punitive notions from an officer's personal file containing his views of home homosexuality, uh, but, or he can face legal action basically because the guy is a Christian and he had views on homosexuality. He was punished even though he was cleared in a probe. I mean, what world is that where someone is punished or some action is taken simply because he believes a certain way in his religion? Here's another one. Uh, this is also by WND. I found a few on WND.com. But new book has gay Santa in interracial <laughs> marriage. I mean, so I guess they want to go ahead and cover all grounds here uh, because political correctness has gone haywire, has gone crazy. So let's put a, a, a black man with a white man and, and let's make them both gay. So now we've got everybody happy. Uh, and so the next one will probably be a Japanese woman with uh, you know, I don't know, a uh, Hispanic man and we're good to go. Uh, but this is nuts. It's, it's literally gone crazy, uh, where everything is about a political decision of some sort and not to mention what's going on with immigration. Now, this one I had to throw in there just cause it's, crazy. Uh, but WND.com also did, did illegal immigrants poop in Coke cans? Uh, it's absolutely horrible. And the machines had to be turned off. And, you know, here's, here's the thing with that, um, in places that immigrants have been coming over, I mean, there's good and bad people in both sides, but a lot of the times, and, and I'm just quoting fact here, please don't kill the messenger, but there are trails of junk left in the way. And, uh, I know when, uh, some of the refugees have, have gone internationally into swimming pools and everything else, there's reports of poop in the pool. Uh, certain things I guess are okay for some and not the other. Uh, but needless to say, this is the level where now we're just putting our own health at risk, if you will. Uh, and that's kind of where it's at. Uh, here is a Another, also on WND, Zuckerberg, who Facebook dude, Mark Zuckerberg, who I hate, funded charity supports radical Islam groups. Now, look, we all know that Mark Zuckerberg is a leftist creep. Uh, that's just frank. That's what it is. And here he is funding, or, or excuse me, his charity is funding radical 
Islam. What kind of world do we live in? Do you know Mark Zuckerberg that radical Islam blew happened? We had 9/11. Hello, we had uh, all kinds of of terrorist activity take place. And, and look, I know the government is working with radical Islam. I know that that's you know 9/11 inside job. I get it, but they're using ISIS. They're using radical Islam. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend right now. We all know that Mark Zuckerberg pushes extremist groups and backs them all while censoring conservative. This is a fact. Uh, if you do journalism in that field, then, then you'll know it. But um, this is just sickening when he's gone to the level to fund radical Islam. And finally, I think, I guess the icing on the cake here, there's a lot more I could show you, but this is on Breitbart.com. Al Gore, global warming, a principal cause of the Syrian civil war, and I guess Brexit as well. <laughs> How's that for you? Uh, when in doubt, uh, if we can't blame it on the white people, I guess let's blame it on global warming. Uh, yeah, we all know how that panned out for you, uh, Mr. Al Gore, because we were all supposed to have some pretty serious stuff happen to us not that long ago. And well, that time has come and passed, Al Gore. But do you see the craziness of the left? They've just gone crazy. Uh, not only that, but I have to say that I think America is in uncharted waters. I mean, we've got Donald Trump as our president right now, and we're in a place that we've not been in a very long time, in a political kind of tornado, if you will. Uh, we have Donald Trump standing for the nation of America, standing for a very nationalism, patriotic thing, and all of of a sudden, when did it become a bad guy to love the American flag, to be a patriot? Since when were you considered an enemy within when you were within your very own country? And that's why I say we're in uncharted territories. I think Donald Trump, as it sits right now, he's he's one of our last hopes, I think, uh, in progressing in that way. Uh, if we get someone else in the future up there, then uh, hopefully they, they head in that direction as well. But right now, we need to fight tooth and and nail because we're in that uncharted er territory. Now there's all kinds of things being talked about. Uh, check out this report right here from, again, this is another W, uh, no, not it's from usawatchdog.com, excuse me. And this one talks about financial collapse that could trigger a civil war. And this is Doug Casey predicting that. But I mean, talk about financial chaos and turmoil. I mean, I know Donald Trump is trying to save the economy, but it's at a breaking point. It's at, uh, I mean, trillions of dollars in debt we're talking here. Now, here's another report, this one on WND.com uh, again, but the root cause of America's new civil war. Now they, in this report, um, they go on to talk, I guess, about the craziness of the left and how we have the, the immigration war and some of the stuff that I talked about in the very beginning. But it's like tensions in America are, are at an all time high and they're further pushing this divide. And here's the thing. They started this entire race war with Obama. That was one of his agendas. That was one of his plans from the get go that, that the deep state uh, put him in charge of doing. Well, he accomplished that. And now with Donald Trump coming up, they're continuing that. But uh, instead of putting, you know, one nationality against another or something of that nature, it's it's like the political side of it has lit a flame. So we have the nationalist side and the political side. And not only that, but they're even going as far as making the white people the enemy. I mean, <laughs> or Donald Trump supporters the enemy. And, and, and even, even worse, if you're a conservative Christian patriot, then now you are the enemy. And so President 
former president Obama started the nationality against nationality, which has now turned into patriotism versus new world order, if you will. And that's kind of the battle that we're at with a little bit of the old stuff thrown in the the political correctness. So we're at this hodgepodge and we're on an uncontrollable path. There is a divide in America, a very major divide. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay in prayer for your country, for your president, for everything that's going on. Uh, Pray against the attacks from Obama and Hillary because we know he's just a couple of miles away in his bunker and there's three different activist armies if you will against the president against the supporters and anyone who is pro-trump is shunned anyone who is pro-nationalism who is pro-populism who is pro our country is shunned we're shunned on youtube facebook and multiple other outlets it's just insane Uh, Anyhow, I just wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Well, if you like what you heard today, please hit that subscribe button and share it on all your social media outlets and just get it out there to everyone you know and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Well, thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven signing out.